Well, let's talk about the dirt bike real quick. There it is. There's the mess of frantically trying to get it finished so I can go get it inspected and legalized for the road. Um, don't mind that fender on there. It's ugly, but it's uh, threw it on there just to throw something on there. Anyways, I'm not talking about that. So, everything is done. As far as the wiring, the lights, everything was done and working. Um, I still gotta put some side reflectors on and that's pretty much it to make it legal. Uh, so a couple nights ago I finished it completely up, did the last of the wiring, uh, even threw on uh, here you can see that uh, oh, sorry, this sucker right here that is the rear brake switch. Um, put that on even I uh, wasn't even planning to do that I was going to use the switch up here on the front brake and just throw a couple wires on it and run it back and then later on down the road I'd figure out how to put that back brake switch on anyways um, so yeah I got it all finished up it was about 10 o'clock at night I decided that was a perfect time to go test run because it's all about lights right um, even the horn was working. Actually, the horn still works. Anyways, getting ahead of myself. So I, I run it down the road, and the light is the headlight is bright, and I mean enough to to see. It's like it's like a regular motorcycle light. Um, running down the road, everything's working. Testing the uh, blinkers. They came on. They blink really slow um, because of that car um, blinker uh, guy right there the car blinker on this system blinks really slow for some reason anyways it was working horn was working brake light tail light headlight turn signals everything was working and then I noticed and I was riding along and I noticed the headlight started getting dimmer so I was like what the crap and Tried to tried to use the turn signals. They didn't come on. Wasn't getting enough juice. <coughs> um, I mean, the horn still kind of worked. It, was, it got quieter. Basically, my system was dying, and I lost. Uh, the headlight was still running. It just wasn't running really hot enough to see very well. So I limped it back home and. Um, I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I was doing some testing with it today. I figured that battery uh, battery pack that I was telling you, I pulled out of a, a drill battery pack. Um, it, it had pretty much, it was pretty much working like a capacitor. It wasn't really holding a charge for very long. It could hold a charge as long as there was a charge being supplied to it. It could hold for a few seconds, probably 20 to 30 seconds actually um, even if the bike was off it could still run the headlight for for about that long so I figured that something with the battery was going awry um, but I was doing some testing with the bike running with the battery disconnected so that the Electricity from the charging system was just going directly into the lighting system. <clears throat> and then it, it was brighter that way, actually. Without the battery connected, the lights were running brighter. And so I was revving it and testing it with my multimeter. But I wasn't getting, I was only getting about 6 volts from the, the output of DC for some reason. And I couldn't figure out why and and then it would spike it would spike so high that it actually blew out all the lights and even the LED tail light which is the biggest problem of that happening because it's a sealed unit and it's LEDs it's <clears throat> 
You can't. You'd have to replace the whole thing. Uh, the, the rest of the lights, it's easy. You just replace the bulbs. But that tail light, I'm gonna have to get a different light or something. So it's. I'm at the breaking point on this project. It's pretty much. It's aggravating. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I guess have to go <coughs> with a different tail light, replace all the bulbs, and then do something about the regulator rectifier, because that seems to be my issue and the battery. So I guess if I get a good battery pack, do something about the rectifier regulator and replace the tail light, maybe it'll work. Who knows? I don't know. It. I'm so done. I'm so over this thing. I mean, I just want to turn to this now. I really want to start working on my Sportster at this point. I don't know if it's just aggravation um, and wanting to get a bike on the road, even though it's getting cold now and it's kind of getting too cold to ride. I want to get something on the road. So I'm probably going to start working on this at least more. So I still want to work on bikes. It's just this thing is annoying the hell out of me. <sighs> Anyways, well, I'll keep you updated on that. If anything comes of this, or I just switch over to this, we'll see. All right, take care.